hey guys what's up so all the reactions that we have been discussing till now were well basically going in a certain direction that is it was possible to separate the reactants as well as the products from that particular reaction so we can say that there should be certain reactions in which the products can also be converted back to reactants also now such reactions are known as reversible reactions and these reactions are basically represented by this symbol that is a partly or partial part of this reaction is going in the forward direction while partial it is coming back in the backward direction that partial signs are basically here where the upper row arrow discover or represents the partial forward direction and the downward arrow represents the backward direction which is also partial so if i have to take an example the most common example that we are going to take is be copper sulfate solution now we whenever we talk about hydrated copper salt solution we can say or copper sulfate salt solution it is usually given as cuso4 dot 5h2o now this can be converted to anhydrous salt by heating it so this copper sulfate that this hydrated copper sulfate salt will become cuso4 and it will give out 5h2o that is the crystalline water it was containing and the product which will be left with will be anhydrous salt but this anhydrous salt will again or can again be converted to this hydrated salt by adding or taking a sample of this copper sulfate this anhydrated copper sulfate and adding water to it that is if copper sulfate is further made to react with water then it will give you copper sulfate or hydrated form of copper sulfate where it has five crystalline water in it so you can say that this reaction is a form of reversible reaction can you tell me another reaction which is a form of reversible reaction well whenever we pass steam over red hot iron it becomes magnetic oxide now this means that the reaction can be given as well fe plus h2o giving fe3o4 plus hydrogen now you can definitely balance this using stoichiometry so i think i'm going to do that for you i'm going to leave that up to you now again if hydrogen gas is again passed over this magnetic oxide this red hot heated oxide then it will partially get back or partially convert back to this iron and steam so we will have our iron which was initially our reactant and the steam which was also a reactant so you can see that in this reaction since it is occurring in both the direction so we will have to replace it with a reversibility sign so this reaction right here is a is an example of reversible reaction another type of chemical change is the isomerization reaction isomerization reaction or we can simply say rearrangement of atoms it is a special type of reaction in which a certain chemical compound simply rearranges its position of atoms and give rise to a whole new compound based on its molecular structure only for example if we heat ammonium cyanate it gives us urea now if i talk about an ammonium cyanate it is given as nh4 cno and upon heating it will give us urea which is given as nh2 co nh2 now the important thing to note that here is that since we have two ends here four os four h here one c and one o here and same here as well it does not mean that these two compounds are the same the molecular structure of these compounds are different and since their molecular structures are different this point is enough to give them different chemical properties so we have obtained this urea from this nh4cno from a simple rearrangement of atoms and this reaction is known as isomerization reaction another type of chemical reaction that we are going to discuss is the polymerization reaction now in this type of reaction two or more molecules of the same compound associate to form a bigger compound that is well one molecule of the same compound will combine with the other molecule to form a two molecule that is a new compound which will be consisting of two molecules and then that will compound with another to form a new compound which will consist of three molecules a simple example of this if i talk about is the well the formation of benzene now benzene is formed by the ethyne now ethyne at high temperature and pressure converts into benzene that is 
C6, H6. These reactions are usually carried out at high temperature and pressures only and this here is an, is an example of the polymerization reaction. Another example of the polymerization reaction here can be the formation of polythene. Now, polythene is basically formed by n molecules of ethene and this basically gives us well CH2, CH2 and you can say that this chain is basically continuing up to n molecules. Now, the value of n here is nothing but the stoichiometry of CH2 double bond CH2 that is the number of molecules of ethene which you initially had. So, these are two the these the two are the examples of polymerization reactions and you can see that how well one molecule basically has combined with other similar molecules to form a big association of a new compound.